All right, guys. Doing a review today of the Fluke 179. Uh, been out for a while. Uh, had bron had really bad bronchitis, so I hadn't really been able to make any videos. Missed quite a bit of work as well. So, um, I got this to replace my CL800, my Klein CL800, which is a great multimeter. Lasted me about four years, but it has an issue reading um, capacitors. Uh, so I can't, I need to, I still use it for the clamp. That's about it. A um, couple of features. Uh, if you want to look at the specs, you can easily find them on Fluke's website. This has a lifetime warranty. Uh, does volts, auto range. You can also do manual range, which I like. Uh, DC, uh, millivolts, your resistance, and oh, I'm sorry, millivolts and temperature. If you press the yellow button, your ohms and microfarads or farads, your continuity and your diodes. And then you have your milliamps and your amps. Uh, it goes up to 10 amps and then 400 milliamps. Alrighty, so just to give you an idea, uh, this thing is awesome. I was going to get the Fluke 87V, uh, but I got this for about $100 cheaper, brand new on eBay. Still packaged in the box, got it registered, so I know it's brand new. <coughs> Uh, also it has a light uh, on the box the box actually shows that it has a green backlight I don't know why but they I actually called fluke to make sure uh, that they do before I bought it but they all have a white light they do not have a green backlight um, so just to show you what I mean uh, so here's my Klein we'll go ahead and set it to Microfarads. Also, uh, one thing, the leads on this, some people complain about them. I actually think they're pretty decent. They're super thick. They're nice and long. Uh, nothing fancy about them, but they're, they're very reliable in my opinion. So, <clears throat> just to give you an idea. So, when you normally use this on, on testing capacitors, it actually has a load time, which... I didn't really like, but you know, it is what it is. This is about $110. This, like on Amazon, is like $300, $350, something like that. So, we will test. Let's get this over. Just to give you an idea. So, you'll see the load time here. So, it'll do the dashes. And now it loaded, so it's actually off. You'll see here in a minute. The accuracy on it is not that great. Now, keep in mind, this is four years old. That's off quite a bit, actually. But you see the load time that it has. I think on one of these, it won't, for whatever reason, it won't read it at all. It'll just stay loading. I think that's see that one's off as well but on one of these right here it uh, I've confirmed this is a good capacitor on one of these it uh, it won't read it so just to get so put that away just to show you how quick this is also we'll show you this in action put the light on All right, just show you how quick this is. We will do the same ones we did earlier. Now watch how quick this is. Boom. There's like no load time. It's pretty much instant. See how accurate that is? And that Klein was reading off. So that's that's testing my that's testing a capacitor uh let's go ahead and show you the thermocouple it comes with now this is by far the best thermocouple i've ever used on a multimeter and i've used several different ones 
Um, <clears throat> it is super accurate, super durable. I work on appliances. I used to do air conditioning, uh, but I, I'm a, mostly a refrigeration technician now. Uh, but I work on ovens too. So we will put that on temperature. And ain't it's hot in here. Um, my thermostat right now is reading 77 degrees. Um, this thing is pretty rigid actually. It's really good for putting in ovens. So if you're, you know, doing appliance, I would, you know, and then you're a point in your career where you can afford, uh, you can afford nicer tools. I would definitely recommend getting this. Uh, but if you, you know, if you're just starting out and you don't want to spend that amount of money on it, uh, you can always go for the CL800 from Klein. Uh, just to show you how this thing is actually really ergonomic as well. Um, I mean, that's pretty thin. That's quite a bit thinner than the 87V. Um, so that's my review on it. I've used it for a few months now, put it through its paces. Uh, highly recommend it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I will be happy to answer them. I'll check my channel pretty frequently. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'll, I'll eventually make a video, a tutorial on, uh, using multimeters for appliance technicians. Uh, I just got to get some parts together so that we can test them, but that'll be coming out uh, here soon. Uh, hit a subscribe, hit like. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Be safe.